Also tonight, neighbors in Buffalo's Elmwood Village had some of the best seats in the house for the total solar eclipse. While darkness only lasted a few minutes, the days and hours around it offering a boost in visitors and businesses to the area. I spent the day in this neighborhood to learn more about the financial impact of Monday's historic event. It was amazing. There were a lot of great places to watch the eclipse Monday, but in the Elmwood Village, the Richardson Olmstead complex was the place to be. I would say over 2,500 people throughout the day. Sean Heiniger is the director of business development for Douglas Development, one of the sponsors of Eclipse Over Elmwood. The family friendly event on the south lawn of the Richardson offered refreshments, music, oh, and an incredible glimpse of totality. It was absolutely amazing. People were roaring, people were crying. And people were also spending, taking advantage of food and drink pop-ups from Cucina Restaurant at the Richardson Hotel. Our bar, our restaurant sales uh, were four times the amount as they normally are. Just around the corner, several other local businesses also saw similar boosts. Mike Schatzel, the owner of Kohl's on Elmwood Avenue, tells me the restaurant also did three to four times their normal sales on Monday. And right next door... Right at four o'clock, uh, we got really, really busy and it, and it stayed that way um, throughout the whole night. Bobby Rabb is the owner of Mr. Good Bar. Aside from a, a Bill's Monday night game or something like that, like this is about as good as it gets. Eclipse enthusiasts also made their way to Louis Texas Red Hots, just steps away from Mr. Good Bar on Elmwood. I had people from Colorado, some people from like Toronto, just all over Jersey. But while the eclipse effect was clearly felt in parts of the Elmwood Village, for other Buffalo businesses, it came up a bit short. We were all anticipating something a little bit larger. Steve Jarmus is the general manager of the Hyatt Regency Buffalo, the city's largest hotel. Jarmus tells me three months ago the Hyatt was completely sold out but believes the weather forecast had people changing their plans. The last couple of weeks, we started seeing some cancellations last minute. Still, Jarmus says the Hyatt Regency Buffalo ended up at about 80% capacity for the weekend. It wouldn't touch anything uh, close to a Bills home game. It wouldn't touch anything close to March Madness. Um, it was, I would say, if I'm rating it on a, on a scale, it was a, a good solid B+. Plus. And he tells me that B-plus rating is still pretty significant for an event like this. The Buffalo AKG also felt a bump over the last few days. The Art Museum tells us they had around 4,200 people come through over the weekend, which is about three times the normal number of visitors.